Hey, Chief, what's the latest? Hey, the nurses are on strike. No, really, veritable font of information. Well, I try. So how long will they be out? No clue. Well, what about my colonoscopy tomorrow? Cancel it. This is what we need around here, another backup. Dr. Martinez. Karen, hey, what's the scoop? Haven't got any. How long is the strike going to last? Couldn't say. Oh, I got dinner reservations. Cancel it. Oh, Karen. No, don't know. Cancel it. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to answer all of your questions. Meanwhile, we are trying to lighten your load. These are the names? Yes, it's Dr. Morris, freshman biology class. The hospital hired him as subs. Give us some credit. We're using sophomores. Well, as long as they're cute and they wear short skirts. Well, we are going to have to use the personnel that we have, Dr. Boardman. Meaning the house staff is going to be reduced to gophers, huh? Gophers carrying bedpans. Mm. Yes, that, and they're going to have to do their own jobs, too. What happened to lightening the load? We're transferring 12 critical cases to Mercy. Oh, my, I can feel the load lifting already. <laughs> I never promised you a rose garden. Ah, uh, the press has been asking about our star attraction. Avoid the press. As far as you know, she's getting excellent care. The hospital is functioning at its highest standard. Please, don't make a liar out of me. At the risk of offending all of you, this sucks. Don't you have enough to worry about? Handling the media is no different than handling patients, Alex. I appreciate you wanting to Dr. help. Dr. Quartermain, is it true that you are hiring high school cheerleaders to tempt for the RN? Ah, I see we have a new little game of telephone going on here. No, it is not true. Well, thank God for that. Huh. Will you please file this for me? I have a meeting. I'll get back to you about your suggestion, OK? Yeah, I'll, I'll be around. Dr. Quartermain. Yeah. Any decision yet? We haven't even gone back to the table. No, I meant on how you're going to compensate me for doing scut work during the strike. Oh, sorry. I'm going to say thank you. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, Ramsey. Listen, if your wife is serious about wanting to come back to work, tell her to call me. Dr. Quartermain, uh, what about Jill? Oh, I can't risk it. Uh, but his hearing is coming up and It's been be... postponed. Till when? Ask the nurses. <sighs> Julie. Hey, it's me. Listen, I think my uh, worst nightmare is going to be your dream come true. It's pretty incredible to think that this is going on right outside, huh? I guess. Can you see your grandma? Yeah, I guess you know this means she's going to be a TV star. If you play your cards right, you might even get her autograph. The nurses walked out of the hospital just moments ago, and already there are Frank, Frank, can you just shut that off? I can't hear anything. Whoa. You know what? It, it really doesn't matter because nobody's picking up the phone. You need something? It's 7 o'clock. Time for Neil's medication. You think anyone's even checked his chart? Who? Who? That whole floor is deserted, oh, Frank. damn it. If Joe wasn't suspended, he'd be here to help me. I'll help you. Come on. the severity of the injuries are, how they were sustained. But we do know that fashion and lifestyle icon Donatella Stewart was rushed by ambulance past a stream of angry nurses moments before she was to have given an exclusive interview with this reporter. Meanwhile, the nurses' strike, only hours old, makes it difficult to determine when that exclusive WLPC interview will actually take place. Thank you, Ronnie Price, journalist extraordinaire. Could we strike in July next time, maybe? Or move GH to Miami? Yeah, well, I'll freeze my ass off before I go back to work without a contract. Wouldn't break Cassidy's heart if a few body parts were sacrificed. <laughs> Mommy, I'm hungry. She said a bad word. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Sherry and I worked out a picketing schedule. One-hour shifts. Take a look. And I will get you something to eat. Ah, good. <laughs> Ooh. 
Any idea when they'll reopen negotiations? Oh, let Boardman change a few bedpans. That'll do it. Somehow, I can't picture that. <laughs> Meet the first casualty of your strike. There goes my vacation. And my basketball ticket. Come on, it's for a good cause. Uh, yeah, I get to work my butt off so Denise Caldwell can get her nails done every week. No, so the patients have the qualified nurses oh, they need. Oh, come on. You really think that this is what the strike's about? Actually, yes. Now, could we work out a schedule? I volunteer to take care of Kevin Collins in the cardiac unit. Mm. Hey, Dr. Lambert, IV administration and patient management in all of CCU. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, who's next? Hey, any luck? Two orderlies, a volunteer, and the head of accounting. All I could find was a janitor. Where are all the doctors, Frank? Uh, they must be getting their marching orders. Maggie says Neil has to have the medication at the same time every day. He will. Matt, you'll monitor critical care. I've got an ICU feedings and IV starts. And Chris, you'll implement chart orders and patient care on five. When do we sleep? We don't. <laughs> Come on, how about some team spirit here? Hey. Woo! Oh, thank God we didn't have you on D-Day. Well, there was a lot more at stake then. You don't think lives are at stake jobs? The whole hospital could go under. Come on, you're the only one standing in the way of all that. So stop being prima donnas and go out there and fight. Yes, sir, General Patton, sir. <laughs> hey. hey, isn't anyone in this place taking care of the damn patients? Well, I hate to drug and run, but I have other nursing duties. Oh, thank you for giving me this medicine. Oh, all it took was the threat of Frank doing it himself. Ciao, dude. A lot of people don't like Frank. Including you? Look, Neil. I know you're mad at Frank and me. You would be mad if I lied to you? Yeah, I would. And that's one reason why I've been letting you treat us so rotten. But I think it's about time you cut Frank some slack. Why should I? Because he loves you. That's why he didn't tell me he was my dad? He was trying to protect you, Neil. Or maybe he didn't want me. No. Makes sense. It's not true. Says you. I don't know what's true anymore. I'm thirsty. I don't care if there's a hospital in Nyack offering 5,000 a week to scab nurses. You take that road, I'm walking. Dr. Quartermain, I've been looking for you. What do you want, Frank? A job. Forget about it. Dr. Quartermain, you need me to Helen, help out with I know this. you got your hands full. Oh, I'm so happy you noticed. But we've got patients and post op who need attention. Well, give them what they need. Isn't that what we have residents for? Take it up with Karen. I'm busy. Mayor, call 6674. Ah, Dr. Lambert. Beautiful night, isn't it? Well, if you like the idea of not going home in the foreseeable future, I. Oh, well, I guess in that case, it would be a good thing. <laughs> now you see, the strike hasn't dampened your sense of humor. But it's done something very strange to yours. Why are you in such a good mood? I what happened between the time Karen gave you our assignments and now? I just think if life gives you lemons, you make some lemonade. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, well, if you're gonna be sick, you may have to heal thyself, doctor. You know, because we're pretty short-handed around here. Of course, you could always have my wife treat you. Oh, my God. That is why you're in such a good mood? Don't tell me Miss Devlin herself is coming back to work here. Okay, I won't tell you. But if you're running down in Quartermain, he might. Yeah. Oh, and it's Devlin Ramsey now. Dr. Devlin Ramsey. Yeah. That makes me feel a lot better. Dr. Martino. Well, can't they take them to Mercy? No, all elective surgeries are canceled at the moment. Okay, okay, we'll cover it. Yes, that's what I said. I'm sorry. Okay, and Paige Ramsey to see me. Matt, Matt. What? 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 
Uh, we've got an MVA coming in. The ER needs a hand. Well, Boardman wants me in post office. Okay, we'll get someone else. Uh, who, Raj? <laughs> Dr. Ramsey, please report to the sixth floor lounge. Dr. Chris Ramsey, Could please report under to the sixth there? floor lounge. Oh, I'd make a great traffic cop. I think you make a better chief resident. I'm glad I backed up. Dr. Wexler, post op has been waiting 15 minutes for one of your lackeys to show up. We're prioritizing. Really? Looks to me like you were chatting. Under the circumstances, it won't hurt for you to check in on your own post ops. I don't take orders from residents, honey. Ah, <sighs> man's a pig. Very important pig that I probably just pissed off. You know what? You're not here to win any popularity contests. Karen, you rang? Yeah, I hope you can make this out, because nobody else can. What? Could a dying person get some help around here? Oh, um, hi, I... Oh, thank God. I was beginning to think I was the only one in this place. <gasps> um, <laughs> you're, uh... Extremely uncomfortable. Could you possibly help me? Uh, um... Today? Uh, is that a possibility? Uh, I, I, I'm not a nurse. Well, that's all right. You're breathing. I just need my pillow fluffed. No degree required. <laughs> okay. Hello? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I... Oh. Okay. Um, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's good. much better. Good. Oh. Can you tell me what is going on around here? Oh. Nurses strike. Well, that's inconvenient. I know. You would think they would just do their jobs. Um, uh, I mean, um, take a hint from you, Miss Stewart, and be the best at what you do. <laughs> You'd think. It's what I try to do. Are you a domestic? A maid, servant, something like that? I mean, you're very good with pillows. Oh, oh, that. No, 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 no. Um... I'm a wedding planner. In Port Charles? Yeah. How quaint. Yeah. Uh, well, I is there something else I can do for you? I yes, actually, there is. You could get hold of the person who runs this place. Oh, I'd like a... to have a word with her. It's a, it's a him. Well, there's your problem. I'll, um... I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find Dr. Quartermain for you. Yes, okay. and thank you so much for this. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, I'll... My brother-in-law's a teamster. Said he talked to his local about not crossing our line to deliver food. It's here by our very own G.H. doctor. Oh, oh you have right, Hector. I am a doctor, but I'm kind of out of the loop these days. You know what I mean? Come on, Dr. J. We know you got friends over there. Yeah, that's helping me get my job back about as much as your strike is. Oh, gee, Joe. Sorry to put you out. Well, forget me. Think about your patients. You walk out, they're the ones who get short right? Wait a minute. That's not fair. Oh, he's just ticked because he got his butt kicked out of the hospital. No, I'm ticked because I want to practice medicine, and my life has been put on hold since you guys have turned a legitimate strike into a political fiasco. Yeah, so you don't have exclusive rights on compassion, Dr. J. We're doing this for the nurses and the patients. Mm. I can see how much you appreciate that. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Nothing, Mom. I'm just doing my job. That's all. Karen gave me two PAs for scrub nurses. Heck of a day for an unscheduled C. I tried telling that to the baby. Here. What's this? A sample. Mine. I am clean, Dr. Quartermain, and sober, and I want to work. You're too high risk. That will prove I am no risk. And I will give you another one tomorrow and the next day, every day, if listen, you say listen so. Listen to me, Frank. I understand what it is that you're trying. I am more qualified than most of the clowns that you have pulling nursing duty yes, around here. Yes, but none of them has been suspended for doing drugs, nor are they trying to get a job during a high-profile strike. I have been clean for over a year, and I will be until the day I drop dead. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, excuse me. Out of the way. Jack, go on. Get out of the way. Nothing. I got no pulse. Let's turn him over. Hold his head. One. Two, Dr. Quarterman. Get the card. And three. And four. I told Dr. Jones I wasn't a nurse. He said One. it would be okay. And two. And three. And he's in V-fib. Get the paddles, Frank. And four. And five. Stand back. You ready? Yeah. Clear. <sighs> okay. 
Welcome back, my friend. You too, Frank. I think I uh, got some good news in the midst of all this garbage. Yeah, what's that? Alan Quartermain wants to talk to Julie about her old job. Ooh, I'll put in a good word to him. Okay, I think it'll help. Well, I think it'll get her that much closer to Christina. Dr. Ramsey, volunteer in recovery just told me Camille's awake, and there's nobody around who's qualified to help her. Well, you know what? I'll take care of that personally. Mr. Owens, let's go. Dr. Alan, look, fresh cup. Haven't even touched it. Oh, thank you. Remember true? What, they were hiring chimpanzees to fill in for the nurses? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Julie. Oh, yeah, I'm willing to give her a shot. That's great. That's great. You want some sugar for that? Oh, thank you. Dr. That'd be Dr. great. Quarterman, excuse me, but Donatella Stewart's asking for you. How long has she been waiting? Oh, too long by her account. Ah. <sighs> Alone at last. Five minutes. That's all I asked for. Just five minutes. Five minutes. Ready to meet Changa? I take it you're the boss. Chief of staff. And, and a very busy man. Believe me, it wasn't easy getting them here. Well, I'd like a word with Dr. Nickelman, if you don't mind. Hmm? Quarterman. What's 20 cents? Alone? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, how can I help you, Miss Stewart? I've made a list of all my complaints. I'd like them addressed immediately. Well, I'll look over it as soon as I possibly can. In the meantime, is there something I can do to help you now? Yes, I'd like a luxury suite, and I don't want to know that someone else is in one. Oh, no. No one's in one. Oh, good. I'd like round-the-clock nurses, too, please. Let me assure you, you will get the same excellent care that every one of our patients is getting, especially today. Good. Doctor, you know I am VIP. And when I'm not treated like one, I get this terrible urge to talk to people. I'm very popular at Inside Edition. I have the most amazing news. You saw Ellen? Yeah, just now. And the whole way back here, I kept saying, I, I can't believe this. I, I can't believe I this. I wasn't going to stop until this. I got what I wanted. Well, what do you have to do with Donatella Stewart? Donatella Donna who? Donatella Stewart! You, you know the magazine, the cable show, my idol since forever. She is a patient Th right here. That's what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah! Oh, what are you talking about? Al Alan, he hired me on during the strike. Oh, uh... I, I, I didn't know you wanted that. It's step one to becoming a paramedic again, and being able to, to take care of you and Neil. It's wonderful. That's good. Mm. Mm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Frank. Frank, your mom. What's she going to say when she finds out you're crossing the picket line? You think that's bad? I had to change every bed on the third floor. I had to set two broken legs in the ER and suture some little kid's head while he was kind of freaking out. I hear Knight Ye Thee, the <laughs> king of the trenches. There you go, all right? Oh, thank you very much, Doctor. Oh, hide me. Mm. Oh, sit down, Dr. Ramsey. Tell us about your wonderful day. Oh, I'll well, see. I uh, helped deliver twins, assisted in surgery, removed a crayon from some kid's ear, <laughs> and, uh, well, no one died. Very good. Good for you. That's a very good day. Okay, I have your next assignments. Oh, Great. come on. Okay, Eve, IVs and peds, Matt, dressing changes on eight, and Chris, sponge baths, geriatrics. <laughs> <laughs> Must be my birthday. Did I say Patton before? It meant Mussolini. Come on, people, let's move. Come on. <sighs> Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles, later, I will go ahead and give you your sponge bath. Nobody's crossing that picket line, I can tell you that. I am. 
You can start by manning the phones. I, uh, came back to be a doctor, not a receptionist. Cast your vote in the Port Charles Weekly Poll only at abc.com, part of the Go Network. Julian and Jake, this is their story. She married the man of her dreams, but held back a heartbreaking secret. Why didn't you tell me? I tried. Now it's the one truth that could lose him forever. But I need time to figure out where I stand. Are you leaving me, Jake? Their story is your story. All My Children, ABC Daytime.